we get our first look of Gladiator 2, and it seems to hold up. Now, these are just still images, but what I see right now seems like it's going to be a nice movie. You know, it's going to look like old Hollywood. When I say old Hollywood, I mean early 2000s where it's not just action figures fighting on the screen. We got some dialogue, some Shakespearean vibes going on. The lead of this film will be played by Paul Masco, who is a fairly new actor. He, he has been in some shows. Nothing too big to be like, oh, he's that guy from that. So this is really his startup. Um, down the line, he's going to play Hamlet. He's going to also play in this Lionel, The History of Sound remake. So he, he's going more of the traditional actor route. So expect like a good performance from this individual. Now they got a star-studded cast as well to help carry this load. We got Denzel Washington that was also seen in the release of the still images. And Joseph Quinn that's going to be the emperor. And the story of... Gladiator 2 is going to kind of pick up from what the end of the original, the main character, which is Paul Mascal, Lucius, will be the son of Maximus, who was being played by Russell Crowe. And we just get an introduction to the cast and the ambiance of this film and the debate of it. Will it hold up? has already started from 2000 to 2024. Gladiator returns in theaters on November 22. And I'm not gonna lie, it seems like the same world, just updated, better um imagery. But you know, me personally, I like how old Hollywood, early 2000 Hollywood shot their scenes. It, it has more texture and depth. Even in this shot right here, Maximus is just like a gritty still film image this just look hd as hell but I, I don't find no problem in it it's just like it was something to that but i think that's probably nostalgia playing with me in my head this shot of denzel is just dope golded out now i do not believe denzel is going to be an emperor but as of right now his name is not shown in indv so we don't really have any confirmation on I, the higher ranking of him, we just know he will be a focal member within this cast on the life of uh, Lucius, Maximus' son. Uh, this is Joseph Quinn. He's going to be Emperor Geta. And for sure, he's going to be the little flamboyant emperor. You can tell by like the, <laughs> the wrinkles in his hair and his outfit and his whole get up. I don't know if he's going to be dramatic as hell, but we'll only time will tell. We also get some still images of him being in the uh, cages. Now, the idea of him also having to fight his way out of like poverty is kind of stuck, but maybe in this world, it is what it is. This is a shot, though, for them to like bring this the, uh, the drama in the world of Game of Thrones and just to track the dragon. So it's just more people to people, more Shakespearean dialogue, trials and tribulations on this hero's journey. I always liked the original film. I watched it mad late because I'm not that old to be uh watching that when it was released, like I was three years old. But when I looked at it, I understood why people gravitated to the story and the idea of Gladiator so well and how it was shot by Ridley Scott. It did made sense. This is another shot from Pedro Pascal. His name is not really shown on IMDb, so I don't know how he will be uh, portrayed in the film, but I do know he is somewhat of the physical antagonist to um, Lucian because they're fighting in the pit. Now, we don't know them fighting in the pit could be two things. It could be um, they're actually foes or they're being pent against each other due to the hierarchy causing them causing each other to fight each other even though they're like somewhat of brothers per se but only time would tell 
We have Lucian fighting multiple people in the pit, it seems like. Everybody's kind of armored up except him. So clearly this is a unfair situation that caused Lucian to die quickly as a spectacle. Going back to this, you see it has blood on this, on this sword, but there's no like cuts on the body. I wonder how gruesome this film will get. Yeah, it doesn't really tell me if it's PG-13 or already, but that'll let us know how gruesome it can get. I'm pretty excited about this world. You know, I always like medieval rome those period pieces because you have more of like the dialogue carrying the film as well as great action scenes to like have a send-off so the film doesn't feel like we, we just heard a conversation in rome tell me what you think you think this is going to surpass the original or it's just going to be like a, another dud no what are you waiting for do, do it! it make your dreams Don't come true dreams just do it, it.